Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it's me, the Plasma. I'm here today to play some more Valkyria Chronicles, as we can see right here. So, we, uh, um, last left off, some dark stuff happened, and, but it was kind of offset by better stuff. Still pretty dark, though. But in this episode, we get to go to the beach, except it's more terrifying. Let's get right in there. Okay. It's just too open. We need some kind of plan. Oh, and I should say, I noticed that the thumbnail for this this particular episode was Alicia, but she had like a lot of dirt on her, so that's gonna be interesting. Oh boy. Welcome. Ah, look, I was right. <laughs> oh. Oh. What happened to you? You're covered in dirt, Alicia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Funny story about that. Oh. Anyway, I've got something I want to show you. Come see. Look real close at my hands. Oh? Oh, wow. Okay. That's... You found a modeled vagabond. Ooh. They're migratory butterflies, but they shouldn't be in Galia at this time of year. Oh, man. It's pretty rare, then? They call it a vagabond because it never stays in one place. They're hard to find. I've tried to hunt one down more <laughs> and than once you before, found one. I, never had I like one. that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> then you like it? Absolutely. Thank you, Alicia. It's not every day you see a girl go out and grab a bug for a guy. That's that's some pretty awesome stuff right there. <laughs> True love at first sight right here, I tell ya. These two, it's like red and blue, blue and red. It's perfect. <laughs> but you've still got to tell me how you found it. I I'm amazed. Me and Hans caught it. Oh. Wrong. <laughs> you and Hans? Wait. Is all that dirt? <laughs> I've never been bug hunting before. I got a little mud plastered. <laughs> I mean, tomorrow's the feast of all spirits. I wanted to get you something you'd like. <gasps> now that's freaking cool. Oh man, this is awesome. I brainstormed on what you might like best, and this is what I finally came up with. Wow. Thank you. As welcome. Got something to back this up. Not the most romantic gift ever, but it seemed right for you. <laughs> you went to all that trouble for me? Thank you, Alicia. I'm happy I got to see such a rare specimen, but I'm even happier at the sentiment. Oh, there you go, dude. Really? Yeah. Thank you. Um, welcome? They say if you give a present to the guy you like on the feast, things will go well for you. I hope things go well for the two of us. I mean... Oh! <laughs> I... Me too. <laughs> oh my gosh! Come on, you two! <laughs> oh? Oh? Oh. Why is it always silent when it starts out with her? She's always like, Isara, uh, I don't think Rosie really meant to hurt you. Oh, this is after that, I see. Okay. No, I... I know that, Mr. Zaka. But I do wonder if dreams of a future in which we're all equal will only bring pain. Hmm. No, don't get impatient on me. Getting close to somebody takes time, Isara. True, true. People don't just change overnight. That said, nothing in this world doesn't change. Yes, I know. Even if slowly, change will happen. Yeah, give it time. Exactly. Give it time. So don't let it get you down. She's just worked up over tomorrow's operation. Tomorrow's <laughs> op? Oh, that's right! I need to speak with Welks about the plan. Mm. What plan? You come up with a solution for those guns? If we modify something I've been developing, it may provide our ground troops protection. I'll go speak <sighs> with Welks about it now. Goodbye. 
goodbye. Bye. Hey, Isara. <laughs> and she's gone. Those two really are siblings. They get into something and they're in their own world. Mm, there you go. It's not a bad thing, though. Dedication, man. That's good stuff. Hey, boss. We, uh, got a plan today? Hmm. Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. Hmm. Speaking of, Isara still isn't here, is she? Boom! Thank I'm you here! Thanks for being late. Welks, it's done. Ooh. You finished in time. Yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. Ooh. Smoke rounds? There you go. There you go. A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. Wait a sec. I just realized I can't use my tank. <laughs> they put this on the tank, but I can't use my tank. I can't fire it. <laughs> I want to see. I am genuinely curious if it's even possible to do this mission without the smoke screen. This is going to be a shitstorm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh man. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. Yeah, if we, if we do. And you just finished them now? <laughs> so you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? Oh. The sevens are like my family. Well, I'm that's sure. nice. Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans, too. <laughs> I don't want... None of you can die. Oh, that's awesome. If those smoke screens can protect you even a little, it'll be well worth it. Heck yeah, man. Isara. What the you... heck was that noise? Was it Discord? Goodness gracious. Nice going, kiddo. With these things, we'll be practically invisible. Mm. Yeah, this mm. battle just got a lot less scary. Thanks, Isara. All right, let's get ready. Squad 7, move out! <laughs> oh, this, this mission just got a lot less scary. Well, here comes the first actual Veggie Master challenge, ladies and gents. Welcome to the battle at Marbury Shore. <laughs> Without smoke screens, because we can't use our tank. Whoop de doo. <laughs> All right. Wow, this is gonna be tough, dude. <laughs> the enemy is entrenched behind hefty defenses along the top of the sheer rock face. Your only path to the enemy lies across this beach. You begin at this entry point and work your way toward the enemy camps. Your objective is to occupy the enemy's base camp. Climb the slopes leading up from the water and make a beeline for that camp. There are two things to look out for along the way. One is the enemy machine gun emplacements all along the coast. Oh, I thought that was going to go for another thing. Use your tank as a shield and keep the smokescreen rounds coming if you want to arrive in one piece. Well, that's a shame, ain't it? <laughs> the second issue is the concrete defensive bunkers that lie beyond the crest of that slope. Oh, freaking peachy. They're incredibly resistant to attack and take quite some time to take out. It'll slow you down. They do have a weakness, though. You can do major damage to them by attacking the gun at the front or the rear doors. They may well have backup stores of Ragnite fuel out back. If so, a well-placed gunshot should help set it off. Should be able to set it off. There you go. If your shock troopers have cl classed up by elites to elites by now, you can also use their flamethrowers to take them down. Ah, if only they were. <laughs> Those flamethrowers are also effective against crouching foes. Keep that in mind as you plan your attack. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay. Oh, man, I don't know. There's got to be a way to take down those guns without um, using smoke screens. There's got to be a way to get around it. There has to be, or else I'm utterly screwed. Now, remember, ladies and gents, I can use, like, uh, if I have to, I'll make an exception, but I can't. I don't know, in this case, I'm very confused if I can or not. I'm confident victory is within reach. You may. You may be confident. I'm not. <laughs> it's gonna be tough, dude. I don't know how the heck I'm gonna get past Clear those out the guns. Imperial shoreline defenses. 
Squad seven, move out! <laughs> just gets nailed with like freaking hundreds of bullets immediately. There really isn't any cover at all out here. Yay. Wilkes, aim the smoke rounds at the ground or at objects, not at the enemy. That should spread the smoke screen around that area. Mm. Got it. I'll do what I can. Which is nothing. My shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. That's right. This is our first op with you, Saka. Good to have you. <laughs> Wouldn't miss it. Now let's go sock one to the Empire. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's go give it to him. Here we go. The smoke screens will dissipate a short while after they're fired, Welks. Oh my Plus, gosh. Plus, a blast from a mortar, grenade, or anti-tank lance will blow it away instantly. Understood. Let's be careful. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so when do they start firing? That's the part that I need to figure out. It's dangerous to stay grouped together in one spot. Why are we still here? I don't know here what I can trust, because they're not firing. Oh, there it is. There's one of them. Maybe if we can make a wall for this one, so we can get you to come in, walk around here, and get in. That would be cool. That would be good. That would be very Way good, actually. Ahead of you. Okay, I don't know how the heck this is going to work, but we're going to try real hard. We have to get in there. If we can get in here... Also, what the hell are these? I don't even know, dude. There's a bunker right over there and a bunker right there. I have to occupy that. Holy shit with this. I mean, like, wow. This, this is going to take, like, forever. <laughs> Jeez, these missions are getting longer and longer, guys. I don't even know. Oh, I don't know. Still with me, oh my gosh. All right. Make sure to provide oh, they're tricking me because they're they're like they're not shooting until like a few seconds later. That's freaking bullshit. They have infinite range. They could fire completely down and up and sideways. That is oh my gosh. I can't even get past. On making smart choices, soldiers. I'll take care of it. Let's try Vice. Uh, here we go. That. Whee! Our hero's in trouble. I'm going in. So at like 150, we need to stop, use Ragnade, and then get in. Okay, here we go. Go, 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 go. Damage! <laughs> what the heck? Okay, if I stand between that, I won't die, right? <laughs> Uh, a little spit will hold me together. Damn. Oh my gosh. There is no way to do this. I'm on my way now. You know what? We're just going to try something real quick. I just want to see if this is a possibility. Ah! No. Nope. How can you not activate a freaking retry? That is the dumbest thing I have ever heard of. Just do it. Whatever. Freaking wow. We have the pieces, but we gotta figure out how the hell to use them. That's the problem. I have visual confirmation on the it's like instant. You can't avoid that. You can't avoid that. It's instant. You're just dead. Dead immediately. Damn it, dude. No, just freaking loaded again. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna give it one more try. Why is it so accurate when it's firing at them, but when it's firing at troops, it's just like... It's just like a freaking shitstorm, dude. It's so bad. I'll take care of it. Oh my gosh, it's like it's like throwing spaghetti at someone at like Mach 5. It's just pain. <laughs> All right, here we go. Uh, Rosie first. Yay. Right in between. Ain't no stopping me. Please work. New target sighted. Yes! Yes! I'm a legend! All right, we've cleared the beach. <laughs> yes! Yes! We managed to avoid the threat of the enemy's machine guns, at least for now. 
Oh man! We made it! We made it! Oh, that's that was a victory in and of itself. Oh man! I don't even care about you people. I just need her to live. That's all I need. <laughs> that's all I want. I don't care about anything else. Just let her live. Her. She needs to live. <laughs> Screw your stupid machine guns. I'm outie. I am outie, fam. Oh, that was a Sara. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Rosie did it. Rosie! Rosie! Yeah, yeah! Let's do this thing. Oh, that's awesome, dude. That's so cool. Occupy that. Oh, yeah. That's where we're ending it, right there, dude. Thank you so much for watching this Valkyria Chronicles episode. If you liked it, just like it or something, and maybe comment or something. I don't know. Whatever you fancy, really. Because <gasps> you are a free being. You are a human being. Or are you? I don't know. Maybe there's some aliens watching this. So, <laughs> okay. Anyways, <laughs> like I was describing, way fancy. Now, as always, I hope to see all you, uh, see you all in the next Valkyrie Chronicles episode. And all of your beautiful faces. You take care.